Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some challenge butter, but they're, they're different. These two are both desserts. This is a chocolate, and this is a salted caramel. And I have seasoned, and this one's everything, and buffalo, which has got two out of four like flames on it. These were $3.99 each at Meyer, and I've only seen them at Meyer. They, they could have them at other stores. I'm sure they do, but I, we just have only seen them at Meyer. So this is the chocolate. We're gonna try it first. What I did was I toasted some bread, and we're gonna try it uh, with toast. But each one of these, they say something different on them, so I'll tell you what they suggested. For us to do a review, it's just easier, easier for us to try them on a piece of, of toast. Um, it says, farmer churned, churned fresh daily since 1911. This is a butter that I don't think I've ever had. Mm -hmm. I don't know Challenge you know. butter, ever. Uh, this uh, chocolate says, Fresh churn, uh, snackable, spreadable. Try it on strawberries, crepes, and drizzled on popcorn for a taste of delicious chocolatey bliss. It is, there's 13 servings in the container, one tablespoon, 14 grams, is 70 calories. It says, must be refrigerated, do not freeze. These are distributed by Challenge Dairy in... Dublin, California. Hmm. Okay. And they have the seal on them. Sometimes it comes off all at once, these kinds of seals. Sometimes they don't. It looks good. Okay. It's hard to believe that's butter. <laughs> it's, like butter. it's dark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to get your own or? Yeah, you can just spread it on there. Go for it. Oh, okay. It's, it's, Again, uh, it's butter. Yes, it's butter. So when you look at it though, you're thinking it's a chocolate spread. It's not, it's butter. So you wouldn't want to like pile it on, I wouldn't think. It's funny getting that texture of butter, mm -hmm. that kind of oily texture with that chocolate flavor. It's actually really good. Mm-hmm. I get chocolate. Yeah, it's not super strong. But, but I mainly get butter. Mm -hmm. mm. You do get a little hit of chocolate though. Yeah, but it, it's it, it's mainly, it still is mainly a butter flavor. I want to just... Just try a little white. Yeah, I'm going to be great. Um, do you want to try a no, go ahead. Um, I could see that like a pancake, let's say, or a waffle. You know, you would normally put butter on a pancake or a waffle. Mm -hmm. That would be neat to put that on something like that. Just add a little touch of chocolate to that. You absolutely get the chocolate flavor, but it still is the base. It, I mean, it's just mainly a butter. It yeah, just it just tastes like butter. The chocolate's very subtle. Uh -huh. It is subtle, but I do think that's good because I can imagine that being uh, delicious on a pancake, like you said. Mm -hmm. Now this is the salted caramel. Uh, looks like peanut butter. It does look like peanut butter. Uh, this uh, says, try it on apples. I know, they've got a big old scoop of it on an apple off the picture. <laughs> Croissants, pancakes, and sauteed bananas for a whole new level of delectability. It's also 70 calories. I mean, since it's butter, you can cook with it. Did I give you enough? Oh yeah. Um, what do you mean cook with it? Like if you put that in a pan, it's gonna melt, I would assume, it's gonna melt like butter. Yeah. So you could oh. saute your bananas in a pan. Oh. You know what I mean? Be... Okay, I've got it. You said it. A fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. With some caramel. But put this. This flavor is much stronger. Is this salted or? Yeah, salted caramel. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's the one to get. Out of the desserts, that is absolutely the one to get. Mm -hmm. You could definitely see, like I said, I don't. we didn't put it in a pan, so we don't know, but since it is based on butter, I would think it would just melt like butter in a pan and you could put things in there and saute like free fruit things or like you said, sandwich type toast bread or whatever. When Ashley buys those apples at Walmart, she buys at, or at Kroger, she didn't shop at Walmart, 
But the uh, doesn't she buy it with caramel? Mm -hmm, like a caramel sauce. But I can't imagine dipping an apple on that. I don't know. I think I think we'll let her uh, try that because I think because she it's would very really like that. Buttery as well. It is, but it has a great salted. It is salted mm -hmm. caramel flavor. Yeah. Um, that's definitely the one uh, to buy out of the two desserts. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the chocolate while it's there, it's it's almost too subtle. I think she would really like that with her apples because she's already buying. I mean, she hasn't bought those in a while, but she used to buy all the time those packages with the apples and the caramel. Mm -hmm. So I think if you you would save a lot of money just buying up because this is going to last you longer than those. Or cook you up cook up apples in that. Yeah, oh yeah. In a pan, saute them up with the butter. I That'd think be it'd good. be delicious. Yeah, now this is the seasoned, uh, this is everything. And so um, it says, try it on pita chips, steak, chicken, sandwiches, and vegetable marinades to get a taste of next level flavor. It is, one tablespoon is 80 calories. Again, they're mentioning things cooking with it, so. But. Can you imagine? Ooh, um, that smells good. I know sometimes you get a steak and when it's done, you kind of put it on the plate and you put a little dab of butter on it to let it melt and get that seasoning on there. That's what I'm kind of seeing when they say steak or chicken. You can even do it with um, chicken while it's in the oven. I think this would be, this is like chunky. You have to see this. Wow, it's got a strong garlic. To, there you go. Yeah, it has a it has a, a chunkiness to it. There we go. We're you in. smell it. It's really strong onion and garlic. Oh yeah. It smells good. Yeah, you when you, the other ones were very very smooth. When I'm sticking the the knife in here, you are getting resistance because there's like there's see all those chunks. This looks like garlic. Garlic. I think it's cloves. You yeah. like this? Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Mm mm mm. Picture this. <laughs> um, oh gosh, that's so good. Texas toast. Yes. Put that on top, put it in the oven, or mm -hmm. put it on the grill and let it grill up and melt and get toasty. That would be awesome. Almost like a garlic butter, or a garlic bread, but... You will never buy the New York brand Texas toast again if you buy this instead. Because it's got a really good garlic flavor. That is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. That is better... You know, people are just mad about going to Trader Joe's and buying everything but the bagel seasoning. You will never buy that seasoning again if you just buy that. It's seasoning. very, very good. Because people, I've seen a lot of people, like put that on their eggs and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Well, you could put this in the pan. Yeah, just cook it. Cook your egg in that. That mm -hmm. is absolutely terrific. Yeah. That's that. That's even better than the sweet. So I, I know what Pammy's gonna do when she makes her next egg sandwich. I'm gonna have to try, well, but you, the bad thing is, okay, the bad thing is, is is I'm all about the calories. Yeah, and this, you use very little or no calories. I use very little calories because I, uh, my trick is I spray uh, vegetable spray. I just take that and spray it in the bottom of the pan for, for almost no calories. This is 80 calories for a tablespoon. So you are adding calories and to be fair, that everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, I bet you it's no calories either. Yeah. So this is adding calories. But it's replacing whatever butter you would have used. But I wouldn't use butter I'm with I'm saying if eggs. you're making, if they're buying the seasoning to put it on bread or something, mm -hmm. that they're, they're replacing the butter with this. Right. So. This is terrific. Anyway, it's very good. It is terrific. If you're not funny like I am about calories, that is absolutely terrific. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the last And I would 100% take a dab of that and put it on a steak. I think it would be wonderful on a steak. Mm -hmm. We we yeah we should. My dad used to do that. Put butter on steak, and I always wondered why would he do that. He used to use the spray while it was on the grill. Uh, but, but it was wonderful. It was. Mm -hmm. But you could take a dab of that and put it on put it on the plate, and take that, put it on there, and let it kind of melt on there. Oh, I think it would be, be terrific. Really I really do. Uh, and baked yeah. chicken. If you, mm -hmm. when, it, when it's almost done, throw a little bit on top of that chicken and let it. It let would it be bake. yeah. It would be delicious. It's There's good. a lot of different oh, ways. I'm to trying use to think that. of the ways you could use it. There's tons of ways. Mm -hmm. I can think of more ways to use that than I can the sweet stuff. I can too, just because uh, this is this is more practical. I think. Yeah. Um, not everybody eats desserts all the That's time true. like we do. Uh, this is the buffalo, and it ha does have flames on it, and two out of four flames, so it should be right in the middle. It's also it's a 70 calorie, so this the seasoned was eight, everything was 80, 
This one's 70. It says tried on quesadillas, cauliflower, hmm. burgers, chicken wings, and nacho cheese dips for an extra kip kick of flavor. So you would add you this with to your nacho cheese dips. I guess. Dips. Like, like it's stir it in. I don't normally put butter. Why? I can't imagine putting a butter in a, in a dip, but I can see it on a queso or a, uh, they mentioned a couple of, I can see it that way. It smells bad, and I'm gonna tell you what I think it smells like. Pimento cheese. Oh my gosh, ding, 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 you it's got it. It's the pimentos, it's the peppers. Yeah, it smells like pimento cheese. Yeah. That's exactly what it smells like. I love pimento cheese. I get uh, uh, in moods, just I uh, get a hankering for a pimento cheese sandwich. And Kevin's right there with me. He's like, sure, we can have those because they're good. I like pimentos. I like it. It does kind of taste like pimento cheese. Mm hmm. It's hot. Wow. Ooh. I haven't gotten that yet. Oh, wait. It took a minute. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, it's concentrated. That would be awesome with chicken. Like your buffalo chicken dip. Mm -hmm. That would be terrific with chicken. Like cook chicken in it? Yeah. Or put it on it? This one is a more uh, specialized flavor. Hot. This one is, is not going to have, I don't think it's going to go with as many things as that everything I one. Agree. But. I think they did a terrific job because it it tastes like um, pimento cheese. It tastes like a hot hot pimento, hot pimento cheese. It does yeah. not doesn't necessarily have the level of vinegar. Uh, oh, you do get a little uh, bit of vinegar. You do get a little, but not the not, like, not the level, not right. as high as you would normally. I agree. So it is very good. I just don't think it has as many uses I don't as the everything. No, because like everything, like I said, you could take, you could make a toast, a, mm -hmm. like Texas toast with that and get that garlic and onion kind of seasoning going through there. Mm -hmm. It would taste really good. You really couldn't make buffalo toast. I mean, I mean, you could, but it wouldn't be as... I think good, peep, uh, some people would like that just on a cry, like a Triscuit or something with some... Mm -hmm. uh, I think just some people are going to eat that with crackers. Or just spread or, it on bread. Or uh, Tostitos. Yeah. We love Tostitos uh, tortilla chips. So if you're a bread and butter eater, you might want a little spice. That'd be good to just spread it on a piece of bread while you're eating dinner. I do like these, and it, uh, it surprises me that truly, if I was to pick one again, uh, well, if I were to pick, just say you had to pick these two or these two, I would pick those two. The savory. The yeah. savory over the sweet, because I'm a sweet person. Um, but I, that everything is absolutely, That's my favorite. hands down, my favorite. Yeah. It is wonderful. Um, but then, um, I really do like the salty that's, caramel. That's the two I'd pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are very good. I hope you all can find these. And if, you, if you've if you already tried them, because uh, I think they've been out for a little while in other areas, you'll have to tell us, have you experimented with them? Yeah, what'd you, you use them on? Yeah, did you try them with different things? Because um, Ashley really does like peanut butter and caramel. I think that's... Um, uh, I mean, uh, apples and caramel, I really do think she'll like her apples with that. But let us know what you use them for. And I'll have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.